Yo, so I'm back in here for another edition of your mother. This one is going to be premium nigga news. They say on the Say Cheese page on Twitter, it said Boosie's son, Tootie Raw, said he's in Baton Rouge making 1500 a day from trapping. Now, I just got done talking about ignorant, foolish, stupid niggas. A nigga can be black. Black person can't be a nigga. But there are some niggas that just... No matter how good they do, I think it's I think it's like a I, I'm really as the days go by, maybe that Bible shit might be true. I think black people might be cursed. No matter how good you are, your kid or one of your kids always will turn out to be a fuck up. I know this to be true. I got a couple brothers on my dad's side. A few of us came out all right. These niggas is hell bent on being street niggas. And they're not good at it. So it looks fucking stupid. I can't even criticize Boosie because Boosie is an entertainer. He's done everything imaginable, including be accused of murder to take care of these ungrateful ingrates. But some people just destined to do what they want to do. And I don't know what it is about like young black culture, young black niggas. Like they find like an allure of the streets. And I, I think, you know what I'm saying? As I get older, what I think it is, I think is that they grew up sheltered or protected or taken care of, right? Like a normal individual. And I think they feel from hearing all the street stories and rap records, I think they feel less than. They feel pussy. So they want to go out there and, and make some bones for themselves so that they feel more of a man. That's a therapy problem. You might need to seek therapy if you are that type of nigga. Trust me, being a nigga that come from that environment and did my dirt here or there, I could tell you some war stories all day. But unlike Keefe D and several other motherfuckers, I don't want to get indicted for shit. What I will tell you is that shit ain't fun. That shit is there is nothing fun about that shit. And don't get me wrong, in your early twenties, late twenties, and even your early thirties, when you're telling war stories, they're plenty fucking entertaining. When you get thirty five, that shit is meaningless. It's stupid. So many things that I did in my twenties. Even my 30s, if I could rewind the hands of time, I wouldn't have done that dumb shit, right? It didn't get me no further in life than I already got myself. So, to all the young boys, that's why I come down hard on street niggas and street culture. Because the shit ain't going to get you that far. Look at Big Meech. He did all that hustling from the 80s to early 2000s. Nigga going to be getting out of prison when he's 63. He was 35 when he went in. In any event, if you like this episode, subscribe, turn the notifications on, like, comment, and share, and I'm out. No one's